Happy Tuesday, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the T-Shirt Transfer Paper Power Half Hour, hosted by Condi Systems. I'm Doug DeWitt, your humble narrator for today's show. And boy, do we have a good show planned for you today. We're going to show you one of the hottest papers here at Condi Systems. And the ironic part is, it doesn't even need heat. It's called water slide paper. We've got it in two varieties. I'm going to cover all the details for you in this video. Uh, we're going to talk about how to run the paper through your color laser printer or color laser copier or white toner printer. Uh, give you some tips on how to run it through those devices and then showcase it with a few demonstrations on all the various products that you could use with water slide light and water slide dark. We think it's pretty cool and we hope you guys do as well. Now, of course, before we get started here at the T-Shirt Transfer Paper Power Half Hour, we always got to pay the power bill. So I want to let you know about our Wednesday webinar our series. It continues tomorrow with Silhouette Love Sublimation. Great title. It's going to be hosted by Becky Dykes with Vinyl Me Crazy, and that is tomorrow on March 31st at 3 o'clock Central Daylight Time on our Facebook Live and our Condi TV channel on YouTube. Make sure you check it out. I uh, also wanted to let you know that our spring gift guide is now online. Go to our website, dietrans.com, and click on the banner ad, and you can see all the latest sublimatable products that we're, open, that we're offering uh, to make your spring absolutely shiny. Um, along the notes, uh, other things, I know that you guys love uh, Fridays with Sprite and their sublimation series. Sprite has this Friday off. She wanted me to let you know that she will be back next Friday on April 9th. Uh, good for you, Sprite. Enjoy that vacation day. And also wanted to let you know that now here at Condi Systems, we're doing TikToking on the TikTok. Yeah, we got TikTok videos now. We even got a TikTok page because we're so hip, you know. So make sure you visit TikTok and you follow us and you like all the videos, especially the ones with Sprite. Um, don't forget to like us and subscribe on Facebook and on YouTube because. We just love the attention. And of course, can't finish paying the power bill without telling you about this handy book co-authored by our very own David Gross, The Road to Sublimation Success. It is available and you need to obtain it. Uh, basically, this is going to give you the ingredients or basically the formula for a winning sublimation business. All you got to do is add the ingredients. You can order it through Condi, or you could order it through Amazon, or download it through Amazon Kindle. All right, power bill's been paid. Let's go ahead and get started with today's topic, which is water slide paper. Now, here at Condi, we offer two versions of the water slide. We offer water slide light and water slide dark. The difference being water slide light leaves a clear film, so it's designed to go against a white or a light colored item. Whereas water slide dark, it's a white based film that goes onto your product so you can go against a dark background. Now the cool part about these papers are you can use just about any standard color laser printer or color laser copier. And if you happen to have one of those fancy white toner printers, well guess what? You could turn your white toner off when using this product unless you want to use white as a standalone color, and we'll get to a demonstration on that a little later. But the paper comes in European sizes, which is A4, similar to letter, and A3, which is similar to 11 by 17, but of course being European sizes, they're a little different. Uh, so you might have to you know, fix your software, so to speak, to format your images for A4 or A3. As far as running these papers through your printer or copier, you basically want to tell your printer that you're running a label. Uh, if you don't have a label setting, then something like a coated paper setting would work. Um, as far as a media weight, you want to tell your printer that you're running a heavy or thick paper. One test you always want to do, try one sheet, make sure the toner is properly bonded by tracing your finger over the print. If any toner comes off on your fingertips, just run it in a heavier setting. Uh, but like I said, it should run through most color laser printers or copiers in a thick or heavy media type setting, and you don't have to mirror or reverse your image. You just basically print right reading with this product. And the other cool thing about this product is you don't need a commercial heat press to decorate items. So if you happen to have a laser printer and you have this product, 
Well, you can decorate just about anything. You know, you can get products from just about anywhere. I happen to hit a local hobby supply store here in town to kind of go over some of the demos that we're going to do today. And the first one that we're going to get started on, and Sprite, if you could give me a close-up. This is a tile that I did using the water slide light. Now, this ceramic tile is not a sublimation coated tile. I got this tile from a local home improvement store for about 15 cents per tile. Now, we're going to show you how to decorate it, but as you can see, I've already got this one here. I let it sit or cure air dry for at least 24 hours. Now, another thing that I can do to add to the durability of it is I can go ahead and basically give it a curing heat in a convection oven or standard oven. Now, I'm not running very hot at all, only at about 250 degrees. But what I want to do here is we're going to experiment. We're going to take this one and we're going to go ahead and drop it in our oven and let it cure to see if we can get more durability out of the image because remember we're putting a coating on the surface we're not embedding the image into the product like sublimation does but I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick demonstration here on another blank ceramic tile that I have and I'm going to grab a pretty cool image to work with here so first thing I'm going to need is a pair of scissors now this is the water slide light so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and trim around my design. I'm leaving just a little bit of border so that I can help to align the print. And also I can get a little bit of that border over the beveled edge and it will actually help secure this image on the ceramic tile. So let's go ahead and trim up here. One more good cut. Okay, so now some other things we're gonna to need to get the job done. I've got a bowl of warm water here and I've got a little bit of dishwashing soap. And what I wanna do is pour a little bit of the dishwashing soap into the warm water, we don't need much. I want to gently circulate the soap around to mix it in, but I don't necessarily want to call, make any bubbles with it. You know, kind of wish this was the green stuff back in the day, you know, you're soaking in it. Uh, but basically, we just want to make sure that it's good and mixed up here. And we're also going to need some paper towels. Uh, you could use just a regular terry cloth towel, um, but the paper towels I happen to have handy. So let me just rip off a few here. Go ahead and stack them up. And let's go ahead and get started. So here's my design that I'm going to put on the ceramic tile. I'm going to go ahead and dip it into my water and soap mixture. Now, a buddy of mine who uses this product on a regular basis describes this technique of holding down the corners until the water slide flattens out. He basically made it sound like bacon. You put bacon in the fryer, it has a tendency to curl. Don't let your bacon curl, okay? Just kind of hold it down until it lays flat. So that is probably going to need about a minute before it begins separating from the backing sheet layer. Now, at the same time, what I want to do is make sure that the surface of my ceramic tile is clean of any debris. And I'll go ahead and set that up here. Now, after about a minute, we should notice the film separating from the backing layer. So if we can move around this backing sheet, we're ready to go. So Sprite, go ahead and give me an overhead if we're not looking overhead already. So I'm just gonna slide the paper out 
just kind of finger move it into position. Now, at this point, we could employ a squeegee to get the air bubbles out, but basically what I got is a stiff sponge. I'm just gonna go ahead and get the one edge wet so that my sponge stays fairly rigid and I can use it to squeegee out the air bubbles and also to kind of move it along my beveled edge to tuck down the edges of the water slide. Just to show you here, that's what I've got it looking like right now. Pretty cool. I'm just going to pat it on my paper towel to dry it off a little. And I'm going to go ahead and throw this one in the oven as well. See what, how this one cures if it's wet. So we're going to learn some fun things here on the T-shirt transfer paper power half hour. All right. So that was on a ceramic tile. Let's see how it looks on glass. Again, I got a couple of these products from the local hobby supply store. Uh, this one here, I used the water slide dark and basically put a picture of olives on it, just so I know that this is for my olive oil. Um, as far as this product is concerned, uh, it has air cured for at least 24 hours. I have not put it in the oven. But as you can see, after 24 hours, picking it with my thumb, it's on there pretty good. So if I've got something for my olive oil, I'm going to make something now for my oregano. So let's see if we can put water slide on glass. So we already know what the product looks like as far as the water slide dark. And that's the reason that the olives are standing out is because, remember, the water slide dark has a white background to it already. But let's see how it's going to look with water slide light against glass. I'm kind of curious to know. So again, pretty simple procedure here. Uh, I was able to gang nine of these images on one sheet. So every time we can gang an image on a sheet, we essentially cut our cost per printing in half, which is always good. And as far as once we print these designs, as long as we keep these designs stored properly, you know, in some type of sealable container and away from direct heat, uh, they should be good for about a year after you originally produce them. You know, so if you've got like a, something that's popular on your Etsy store, you got a repeat client, it's perfectly okay to pre-print these, store them, and apply them later. So I've got my oregano here. I'm going to go ahead, again, drop that down in the water. Hold down all four corners. We don't want our bacon to curl, okay? So we're just going to hold it down until it wants to flatten out on its own. And then after that, we should be good. Remember, we always want to prep the surface that we're going to decorate. Make sure that it's, at least if it's a hard substrate, that it's clean and dry that there's no oil there that might affect the way that the water slide adheres to the product. So that one's about ready to go. Let me, I'm going to do this side here. Obviously, I'm the world champ at cleaning. So let's go ahead and grab our water slide out. And again, like I said, if you see it moving around on the backing paper, it means it's done. If it wants to curl up on you a little bit, you can lay it flat. It's perfectly cool. Uh, get it where I want to. Catch the edge of the backing sheet here. Which is harder to do than normal with clipped fingernails, but... Essentially, we just want to slide it right on out. And then once we slide it right on out, again, we can kind of reposition. Now, on glass, 
it might have a tendency to move around a little more than let's say if it were on like a ceramic uh, you know maybe that's just because of the differences between the substrates so I'm just going to use my finger and my sponge here wipe all that out now I'm going to hold this up to the camera and if you can see here using the clear film it's way more translucent than using the water slide dark so this is water slide light this is water slide dark but both products onto glass items like I said that I purchased at a local hobby store so now that they're decorated I would want this one to air cure for an hour and then after that it should be ready to go now what about items that you cannot put in the oven? For instance, candles. Um, I did this candle as a demonstration uh, a couple of weeks ago. Found this graphic on the internet. I thought it was pretty cool. I basically dubbed this Saint Mando of the Outer Rim. Um, but when it comes to a, doing a candle, we might need an extra product to help us. So what I'm gonna use is a Elmer's glue stick that you can get just about anywhere, art supply store, Walmart, Walgreens. Uh, I think they even have them in chiropractor's offices, I'm not sure. But what we're going to do is we're going to decorate this blue candle here. Now for the white or light colored candles, you can go ahead and use your water slide light because the white is providing the background. But since we've got a darker candle here, uh, I'm going to use the water slide dark on this particular one. So let me go ahead and grab my graphic that I plan to use. Sprite, you're going to love this one. I, I've dubbed this one Evil Chewy. Pretty cool combination of Chewbacca and Evil Knievel. How can you go wrong there? Now remember, where we cut, if we leave any outside edging, that area is going to be white. So at this point, I want to take a little extra care and cut as close to the graphic as I can with my scissors. Now a sharp pair of scissors will go a long way if you're wondering, can this material be used with a vinyl cutter, uh, something like a Silhouette or a Cricut, the answer is yeah, and we'll give you a demonstration on that in a second. But let me go ahead and get my other two edges here. Let's give it one more good cut. Okay, so now that we've got the excess white trimmed away, let's go ahead and dip the water slide dark into our warm water and dishwasher soap mixture. Now, you'll notice that the backing sheet for the water slide dark is a little heavier than the backing sheet for the water slide light. So it may take this one a little longer to flatten out, so to speak, but there it goes. Um, also, you might take an extra minute or two for the dark material to separate as opposed to using the water slide light, but at least it gives us time to look over our candle real quick because, you know, not every candle is going to be perfect. Uh, we basically want to find the best area we can use with the minimal amount of indentions already on it. And I think I found that area right here. So once I have my area picked out that I want to decorate, I'm going to go ahead and take my glue stick and use my glue stick and put a thin coat of glue over the area that I plan to use with the water slide. Uh, basically, the glue is going to help set the water slide to the candle. Okay, so I'm going to test 
my water slide here. Okay, it looks like it's starting to move. Maybe give it just a few more seconds in the water. Um, if you start to leave it in the water too long, like I said, you'll see the film separating from the back sheet, um, but no big deal. It's very easy to flatten out, so to speak. But let's go ahead, again, using my thumb, Okay. Now I was practicing with candles a couple of weeks ago and got pretty good at laying down the graphic pretty square, unlike this attempt that I just did live. But hey, those are the breaks, so to speak. But once we have it positioned, our graphic where we want it, again, we use a squeegee, we use a sponge, drive out the air bubbles. Now, when it comes to what I want to call soft goods, things like candles or bars of soap, uh, we probably do not want to employ a curing heat phase or a curing step to the graphic because after all, you know, it's a soft good, it'll probably melt. So these, we just want to let them air dry and like I said, usually after about 24 hours, they're good to go. And the cool part about using the water slide light or the water slide dark is once we actually start burning the candle, the graphic in the film will melt naturally along with the candle. So basically, you can make customized printed candles with water slide material. Pretty cool. All right, so... We're moving along here. Somebody's asking a question about water slide uh, as far as the printer compatibility. The water slide that we carry is only going to be able to run through a laser printer, not an inkjet printer. Um, but like I said, when it comes to a laser printer, just about any four color laser printer should work with the water slide light or water slide dark. Got one more project to show you here. Uh, Sprite and I, one of our favorite characters of all time, is Brack. You might know him from Space Ghost or Space Ghost Coast to Coast or Cartoon Network. So I made myself a dancing Brack aluminum tumbler here. I use the water slide dark to create the front image, and I'll go ahead and show it up close here. But what I did as far as kind of creating a self-weed design. I used the water slide light and ran it through my white toner printer and only printed a white graphic. And this is one of my favorite sayings here. I used to be temporarily insane, now I'm just stupid. All right. So, Sprite saw the design, she loved it so much. She was like, can you make me one? So, as our last project, we're gonna decorate this one here for Sprite. Now, we're going to use both the water slide light and water slide dark on this project. Now, just to show you here, this is one of the designs that I printed. I'll get Dancing Brack out here. Now, you'll notice that we printed with the registration marks because after that, what we did was we basically fed this through. Did we use a silhouette or a cricket sprite? We used a silhouette to cut the design. So we're gonna see how our cut job turned out here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off one of my cut designs here. And we're gonna go ahead and dip it in our warm water and dishwashing soap mix. Make sure our bacon doesn't curl. And let's let that sit for a minute and we're gonna see if this graphic really does self-weed or not. <coughs> Pardon me there. I'm gonna grab some paper towel. Go ahead and make sure my one side is clean. I'm getting it shiny. All right. 
So, like I said, this is a metal tumbler that I purchased from a local, you know, hobby supply store. Didn't cost all that much. Now, Sprite, can you give me an overhead shot here? I, I don't know if you're really going to be able to kind of catch this effect, so to speak. But look at that. We've pulled away the excess white from our silhouette cut. Thank you, Sprite. That is super cool. And so now we've got our cut graphic on the water slide dark. Slide the paper out from underneath. Let me get my man straightened out here where I want him to appear. Use my paper towel to kind of sponge up the excess soap. Use my sponge to get the air bubbles out. Okay, so one side down, one side to go. Remember when I was talking about when it comes to water slide light and water slide dark that if you had a white toner printer, you turn your white toner off? Why is that? Because if you have a white toner printer that was designed for transfer printing where the white toner is the last color down, then it's basically meant to be an opaque backing, so to speak. Uh, when it comes to printing white and color onto a water slide, since we're printing on the material itself and we're printing right reading, what we really need is white down first, not last. So, you know, in theory, when it comes to using a white toner printer, since the white toner is pretty much, you know, not available for use. We just turn it off in the driver or turn it off in the RIP program unless you want to use white as basically its own single color. So at that point, what I'm doing is I'm printing onto the water slide light, but I'm printing a white only graphic. So let's go ahead and get our white only graphic out. I'm going to hold it in place, slide the paper, and hopefully I've set this one up so that it will wrap around the entire graphic, or that it will wrap around on this side. Now you might hear some giggling in the background. Uh, this happens to be Sprite's favorite brat quote. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get that cleaned up, so to speak. <laughs> and again, since this is still wet, we might accidentally move some pieces around. That's okay. Like I said, it takes about an hour to air cure. So in the meantime, if we make any mistakes, we can correct them. Perfectly cool. All right, so now we got Dancing Brack with hey, 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 don't touch me. All right, so again, we let this air cure for an hour and it should be good to go. Now, speaking of curing, we threw some tiles in our oven. Let's see how they're turning out. Now, I've got my oven set at 250 degrees, so it's not what I would call a deep heat.
so this is the one that I had let air cured and then stuck it in the oven. And as far as the edges are concerned, they have conformed nicely around that ceramic tile. And just to show you, there's my Yule Brenner Westworld. And again, these were just 15 cent tiles, but now that we've decorated them with water slide light, or you know, if we have a colored product, water slide dark, uh, we got great custom products. And like I said, the supply chain is endless because you can apply water slide light or water slide dark to just about anything. Now, if you're interested in the product and you want to try it, get in touch with your Condi Systems account manager and they can arrange free samples of these products for you to test with your own laser printer or copier and see if you can get the process down. But as you can see, the process is pretty darn simple. So I hope you enjoyed this demonstration on Water Slide Light and Water Slide Dark, which is available here at Condi Systems. Uh, make sure you grab your pack and get started with the wonderful world of decorating just about everything. Uh, make sure to tune in to two weeks when we'll have another edition of the T-shirt transfer paper power half hour. Hopefully we will have a nice surprise for you courtesy of Nina Coldenhove Paper, a uh, new product announcement that's coming down the pipe, and we hope we can showcase it in two weeks. So make sure you stay tuned, and also don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on TikTok, watch our crazy videos, make sure you love them, and make sure you keep tuning in to Condi TV and the T-Shirt Transfer Paper Power Half Hour brought to you by Condi Systems. I'm Doug.